Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. You know, I just saw a video where someone was talking about, uh, you know, questioning the authenticity of the Quran and whether or not it's been changed and all of that garbage. Are you familiar with people who have memorized the Quran? Okay, now I'm not going to use the argument of if there's any mistake in the Quran, then there's, you know, millions of Muslims literally who could correct it because they've memorized it and you can't slip any changes in there. I'm not going to use that argument. It's a sound argument. But what I want to say is everyone who has memorized the Quran was taught by someone. Everyone who has been approved to teach the Quran to someone was taught by someone. And they had to get the approval to teach it from someone. In other words, that teacher teaches them the Quran, uh, checks and verifies and validates their recitation to make sure that it's accurate. And this is reciting the Quran without looking at it. So it's reciting the Quran from the first surah to the last surah, from the first ayah to the last ayah, without looking at it, from their mind. Okay, They have a teacher who can verify and authenticate their recitation to make sure that it's perfect. Then they are approved to teach the Quran to others. Okay, so now anyone who receives the permission to teach the Quran to others has what's called an ijaza. An ijaza is a certificate that verifies that their teacher has approved them. But that certificate includes the entire list of teachers, their teacher and their teacher's teacher and their teacher's teacher's teacher going back. At the top, when you get to the end of that list, when you get to the beginning rather, of that list of people who have approved other people to teach the Quran, it goes to so-and-so, was taught by so-and-so, was taught by so-and-so, who was taught by Zayd bin Thabit, who was taught by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa who was taught by Jibreel alayhi salam, who was taught by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the beginning of the list of names of the ijazah of every Quran teacher, it goes in a, in a single thread all the way back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to Jibreel, to Allah. Who else has this chain of authentication to verify that from one man to another man, to another man, to another man, to another man, they have been approved to teach the Quran? Who has that to, to verify? What other deen, what other even discipline has that level of verification and authentication where you can know the names of everyone who taught this book to this man was taught by this man the book and that man the book and that man the book name after name after name and each one of those names can be researched can be found out about can be checked as they are in their lifetimes I don't even know why anyone bothers to talk about this anymore to pretend like there's changes in the Quran it's absolutely absurd you reveal yourself to be not a serious person if you even suggest that there have been changes in the Quran just stop already Jazakallah khair Assalamu alaikum